Hey everybody, welcome back. This video is going to feature the bike on the right here, which will be part one of the final assembly of that bike. The bike on the left is the so-called Left for Dead CBX, which is pictured here as you've seen in previous videos. So I will be doing that bike uh, later on. So the bike on the right is the one that, uh, that I'm going to finalize in these two videos. Now, in a previous video, uh, I have I showed when I had all of my nuts and bolts and washers and clips and everything that are uh, all CBX hardware uh, replated, and I had them replated in the uh, bright zinc, the yellow zinc, and the black zinc, which I'm showing here uh, after I've placed them all in my uh, set of drawers here. And they're not really categorized in any given uh, bin, but I've got them, I've kind of got the like kind in one place so that I can come and pick out the correct piece of hardware and so on. And as you can see, they, they really turned out beautiful. And again, I have another video that is dedicated to that process. So I just wanted to show you how I've got all of that organized, which is just simply a, a regular toolbox. And then I got these little uh, cubby trays, if, if, if you want to call them, from um, Harbor Freight. And then over here in the carburetors, which again is, dedic is uh, featured in a previous video, but I had all of the uh, hardware and the screws and everything replated as well. And in a previous video, I showed these before I took them to the platers, and as you can see, they turned out really nice. I mean, I didn't even clean them up or anything be before I took them, so they cleaned them and replated them, and they look really nice. Now, I've got... I've got brand new bags of Keister uh, screws, and when you compare those to the screws that I had replated, uh, there's just no comparison. And then uh, here's what all of that hardware looked like before I took it over there and had it replated. And uh, they just did a really nice job. All of the, all of the uh, bolts and the screws and everything turned out really nice. I mean, you can see here, I didn't even take the washers off and they just plated them all assembled like that. So I'm very happy with the result of that and the carburetor is going to turn out really nice as a result. So getting back to the uh, final assembly of this, of the red bike, uh, I've got everything laid out here and what I do is I take all of the parts and pieces and so on and I try to uh, put them away in bags as you can see here with the correct hardware uh, there so that while I'm in the process of reassembling the bike I just grab one of these and I go to that specific spot on the bike and the hardware is right there ready for me to to do the assembly. So I'm just going to let the camera roll here and kind of let it speak for itself uh, looking all this stuff over. And again, I'm going to be f I'm going to be finalizing the assembly in two separate videos to the bike here on the right. The Left for Dead CBX I'll do in in uh, future videos. But I'm just going to kind of scan over here again and show you all the different parts and pieces that I have laid out and ready to reassemble. Some of these parts have to still have to be cleaned up, but uh, basically they're just kind of laid out ready for me to address that as I go. And the, the video, the second video that I will be posting, uh, I'll be focusing more on that. So that's going to be it for this short little video. I just wanted to kind of like restart here the uh, the restoration of these two bikes. And um, I will see you 
shortly in the next video. And again, please like and subscribe and share. It really helps the channel, and we'll see you on part two.